Titus 1, verse 10. For there are many insubordinate, both idle talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole households, teaching things which they ought not, for the sake of dishonest gain. One of them, a prophet of their own, said Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, lazy gluttons. This testimony is true. Therefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men who turn from the truth. To the pure all things are pure, but to those who are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. But even their mind and conscience are defiled. They profess to know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable, disobedient, and disqualified for every good work. Why? Because of witchcraft. They are bewitched. Amen? I'm going to close at Colossians 3. So he says that in Titus that they must be rebuked or exposed. Three things. Understand, submit, and expose. Or witchcraft will overtake you. Colossians chapter 3. In verse 1. Is everybody there? Would you read it with me? If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above, not on the things of the earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Therefore put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedient. Let me tell you something. This country is being judged. Right now, God is just discerning what kind of judgment he's going to bring. But it is coming. In verse 6, because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience, in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. But now you yourselves are to put off these things, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds and put on the new man who is renewed in the knowledge according to the image of him who created him where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is in all and is all and in all. Christ is all and in all. Everything is about Christ. Amen? Christ, he sees it, he knows that nothing's hidden from him. Now, one of the things that is important is to cooperate with him. Amen? Submission means cooperate. To submit to God and resist the devil means that you are cooperating with God so that you can take dominion. See, if you don't submit under authority, you have none. Amen? You have none. There is no lone ranger out there. Everybody is submitting under authority in one way or another. Amen? Overcome witchcraft. Deception, bewitchment, curses. Because if you don't learn, you'll burn. You'll either get burned, the devil will use you to burn somebody else, or you could eternally burn. And I know we don't want that. Amen? Is everybody okay? You got it? You're going to kick some butt now? Amen? You're going to understand? You're going to submit, and you're going to expose. And you're going to overcome witchcraft in every area of your life. Amen? It's a good night to die. And to God be the glory. Father, we thank you for your word. We are honored and blessed. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the truth that leads us to all truth. I pray, Lord, and apply the blood of Jesus on all the seed that's been imparted tonight, that it will grow and bear fruit for your glory, and that you would quicken us to these areas so that we can overcome witchcraft in every area of our life and give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. Hallelujah!